Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 1st of 2025 is titled Callisto, Dirty Battered Ice Ball. So what do we see here? Well, this is one of the four large moons of Jupiter, and this image taken by the Galileo spacecraft a couple of decades ago has recently been reprocessed in bringing out more detail to allow us to better study this moon. Now, the moons of Jupiter are relatively large, and in fact, most of them are, most of these four at least, their four large moons are larger than our own moon. And in fact, this one is slightly larger and is comparable in size to Mercury. So it's almost planet sized in terms of size. In terms of mass, no, it's much less massive than Mercury. And you may wonder why that's the case, but it's because of the composition. They are made up of two very different things. Mercury, the planet closest to the sun, is primarily made up of metal and in fact has a massive metal core that is more than half of its interior. On the other hand, Callisto, out in the depths of the solar system with Jupiter, is made primarily of ice. Yes, there is some rock and maybe even some metal deep down inside it, but most of what we're seeing here is ice on the surface. Now, ice to an astronomer, typically, when we talk about the outer solar system, means, yes, water ice, which is what we normally think of when we say ice, but also includes things like methane and ammonia, which would be frozen at the temperatures in the outer solar system and would also be different types of ice. Now, that's what we're seeing here is all of those little circular things are actually craters. Now we see craters on our moon where objects have smashed into the rock of the moon. Well, here we're seeing where things have crashed into the ice of Callisto. And you may think, well, it would just melt, but it won't do that. The energy that would occur in the impact would vaporize some of the icy material, but it wouldn't melt it. And that would be because there is no atmosphere on Callisto, and you need atmospheric pressure for a liquid like water to be able to be present. So no matter what the temperature was, and in fact the temperature would be far too cold for liquid water as well, but the lack of an atmosphere would mean that you could not have a liquid. So when you heat up the material, it would turn directly from a solid into a gas, undergoing what we call sublimation. So yes, it will change, but it will change directly to a gas and leave the crater there, just as happens when a rock slams into something like our own moon. Now, the brightness would be because we're digging up, digging down into the fresh ice and seeing the nice, bright, fresh ice that is present there, as compared to the darker surface, which has picked up other compounds over the years. Now, the studies continue on objects like this, and in fact, there are two craft on their way, the European Space Agency craft known as JUICE and the NASA craft known as the Europa Clipper are heading out to study the four moons of Jupiter and hopefully tell us more about them. We find them interesting because three of the four seem to have the possibility of underground water. So hundreds of miles beneath the surface of the moon, there could be an ocean of liquid water down below. And that is very interesting because it means the possibility of life. So could there be some kind of simple life that forms down in those oceans, and hopefully that is something these two craft will help to give us some better answers about. So, that was our picture of the day for September 1st of 2025. It was titled, Callisto, Dirty Battered Ice Ball. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Flaming Sky Horse. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then... Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.